Alright, so today we're going to be deleting profiles from our spreadsheet. So we already have a delete spreadsheet function, right? Now we want to be able to delete specific profiles when, within the spreadsheet, right? So, uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Um, first, uh, let's start with the, the basics, right? Um, let's add the option to for that here. So right here, or right here actually, we can do case five. We can say that's going to be the delete profile from the spreadsheet, right? Now let's create a header that says, press five, you can say um, delete pro profile from spread. All right, so now we have to delete the specific profile from the spread. So first of, and foremost, we want to say, um, enter spread name, right? So we can, uh, uh, so we'll do spread. Sorry, I just woke up spread manager. And we'll say, uh, enter spread name. Right. Okay. So that's going to bring up a prompt. And now let's just create a function over here that create that deletes, deletes a profile, um, from spread, right? And we'll enter the spread name and we'll enter the profile ticker. We can just call this ticker, right? So, okay. Now, what we can do is uh, over here, once we've entered the spread name, we can just do stock spreads dot delete profile from spread. And we are here, wait, actually. Enter spread name. All right, so we are going to need to have a string called spread name. So that equals user input dot next. Right? And then we're going to have a string called profile ticker equals to user input dot next. Right. And now once we've done that, now we can do stock spreads dot uh, delete profile from spread and we can enter the spread name and the ticker all right and then we can print out uh, spread manager successfully deleted profile from here went successfully deleted and we can add the profile ticker, deleted profile, deleted, so let's say MU, uh, profile from, um, and then we can enter the spread name. All right, so that's going to be the full process. Now right here, what we're actually going to do is uh, we're going, we're, okay, I just realized you guys couldn't see this. Yeah, th this is what I just wrote. Um, so, we're just going to enter spread name, you know, do all that stuff. Alright, so now, where we are actually going to delete the the profile is right here. Alright, so I, I have not pre-programmed this, so I'm going to have to do a bit of thinking, but... Um, Alright, so let's think. Uh, so we need to delete a profile from a spreadsheet. What does that mean in code terms, right? We need to delete a string array from the list within the hash map. And the list is um, associated with the spread name, which we have already specified. Okay, so what we can do 
what we first need to do is get the list. Right? So we're going to get the list of string arrays. And we're going to call this spread. We're going to set this equal to spreads dot get spread name is the key. So that's going to return the spread. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can iterate through all of the string arrays in spreads, right? We can call each profile in the spread object. And in here, we're going to check uh, the first index, which is the ticker. So we can say profile. So let's create an if statement if the profile. Um, so we're going to check if the profile's ticker is equal to the specified ticker. And if it is, we're going to uh, execute a couple of things in order to delete it, shift everything up, hopefully. And then um, we will uh, save it and return back. So we'll do profile 0 because that's the first thing. So if we just refer to a CSV file that I've got somewhere right here. Yeah, you can see the first thing is the ticker. So let's see if this equals to spread name, then we are going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to break at the end, right? Oh, and this should be dot e equals to the spread name, right? Uh, or not spread name, sorry, ticker. And we should probably do uh, equals ignore case. There we go. Okay. So now we have something that activates when it's found the profile, right? And we can actually condense this, but actually let's save it for now. Save, keep it like that for now. So now we have to actually delete it. Uh, <laughs> how are we going to do this? Um, I should have planned this before starting the recording. Uh, let's see, spread rows dot add. Okay, so we can treat it. I'm an idiot. We can just treat it as a list. Right, so we can just say list. Sorry, list or not, not, not list. We can do spread dot remove and we can just pass in profile. Oh wait, but that's going to cause a concurrent modification exception. Right, so. Uh, and because we are not running this on a thread, right, we're just going to have to do this another way. Okay, so. We'll do a string called profile, uh, we'll say queued profile to delete. And we can say spread, or we can say queued profile equals to the profile. All right, and now after that, we can go, to, we can just go to the spread and we can remove the queued profile. Right, and now um, okay. Now let's see what happens. Yeah, I know I don't think it's going to shift anything. That's my only. That's the only thing. But let's run in and see what happens, anyways. Um, okay, so you can see this is the program. And why don't we remove NU, right? So we'll do 10. We'll delete the profile. Or actually, let's reveal. I don't remember the name. Test spread. So test spread. And 
now we're going to enter the ticker. All right, I need to put a line there that says that. All right, so let's exit. Oh. Oh, it worked. Okay, one second. So let me just fix something before I forget. So we'll print out spread manager enter ticker of profile being removed. All right. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so let's go over to the spreadsheet. All right. So we've got MU, SCHD, and SPY. Let's remove SCHD. All right. So I'll do nine. Or, whoops. Okay, whatever. Let's add Bank of America. All right. So I'm just adding Bank of America. All right. All right, so we will remove a spreadsheet. Sorry, remove a profile from the spreadsheet from a spreadsheet. So test spread. And now let's enter the ticker symbol of the thing being removed and we'll do SC or let's do SPY. All right, now let's exit. It did it. I removed it. Okay. Um, okay, I need to put some space in there. Let's go to actions right here. And now it should fully work. Uh, yeah, I think that's that feature implemented right there. There you have it, folks. Okay, so. Um, what are the features I still have to make? I can de delete, edit, auto update. Okay, let's see what, what we have. Delete, update, delete spread, export spread, load spread, create spread. Oh, right. Next thing I have to do is organize it a little bit, right? So, let's create a spreadsheet let's exit and I'll show you right here in this new spreadsheet I made you can see that first we have the ticker symbol that's fine then the price per share that's fine then we have the compound annual growth rate what I want to do is I want to reorganize this right so that's just gonna mean uh, some shifting around in the code so nothing new just shifting it around so that I can have I can have the type of columns I want, right? Um, but actually, so since I don't really have another feature in mind, um, what I think I want to do is make it so that you can make custom columns. So you'll have a choice uh, between the ones you want and then you get to choose. All right, so I think how this is going to work is it's going to give you a list of um a list of categories, right? And then you can for each category, right? It, there's going to be a number attached to it and then it'll ask you to enter the first category you want to put in. So then you put that in then the second, then the third, then the fourth, right? And then whenever you press create or something, then it's going to create the spreadsheet. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that off camera because that's gonna be a much longer thing, in which case, um, I don't want to be slowed down by recording, so see ya.